Do you want a fully customized wedding invitation suite? Well, we have a great place for you to go. It's called Minted. It has independent artists from around the world where you can get custom designs. You can get a whole suite from save the dates to your thank you notes. And you can get free address printing. Just go to from ringdevail.com slash minted. Shannon. And I'm Kim. And you are listening to From Ring to Bell, a wedding planning podcast where we share tips and information to help you plan the wedding of your dreams without all the stress. Gifts for your bridesmaids and groomsmen, episode number 115. Don't miss a show. Subscribe to From Ring to Veil anywhere you listen to podcasts. If you don't know how, let us know. It's very easy. You can always find the subscribe links on our sidebar and in our post notes. Do you know what to get your wedding party for a thank you gift? Did you even know it was proper etiquette to do so? We have some great ideas for you. Some simple, some not so simple, some cost effective, some not so cost effective. <laughs> We got some for everybody. Yeah. Let's start with the bridesmaids. You know, because we're girls. Uh, and they're I feel like they're much easier yes, than grooms. Because you you know your girlfriends. Mm-hmm. You know what they like. They like pretty things. They like shiny things, most of them. Mm-hmm. Things that they could hold stuff in. Like me, I'm a bag person. Yeah. I don't find a tote bag anywhere. <laughs> And say, I need that bag, which I don't need one because I have 10 others at home. But if I see one I like, yes, I'm going to get it. So makeup bags, tote bags, purses, you know, if you have, yeah. if you know your friends like those types of things. I don't know those about are, purses. Aren't well, those a little personal? Like little clutches. Okay. Those things, You know, yes. not like a big, you know, you put everything in bag. Okay. But like, you know, the bridesmaids need something. The <laughs> bridesmaids need something to... Hold their lipstick, hold yeah. their compact in. Mm-hmm. Keys, phone. Yeah, phone So at the wedding date. So that's a good thing to buy them, maybe a little clutch. Okay. I can go with that, but don't buy them a purse. No. Well. That's too per. That's like buying a man a wallet, in my opinion. Yeah. Anyway. And, and all these can be personalized. You can put names. You can put fun sayings. You can put cute pictures, mm-hmm. uh, monograms, you know, yeah. if that's the way you want to go. I love uh, that. I love that. I love that you can personalize. <laughs> Now, T-shirts. You can get T-shirts for all of your bridesmaids. You can put whatever you want on them. <laughs> good quality T-shirts. Yeah, good quality T-shirts. Yeah, that's a that's a must. But you know, I'm thinking if you if you're the fun type of people, you, you put a really cool, funny picture on the front and then a funny saying on the back or something. <laughs> or you know, if you've seen those bride tribe, yes. Uh, t-shirts or shirts and stuff like that. You can do so much with t-shirts. And you can make it part of a a combined gift. Like you need something for them to wear before they actually get dressed. Right. So t-shirts, hoodies, robes, mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah, it's it's nice to kind of center that, that gift around what they're going to need that day. Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but you, but it's nice. It's a nicety. You know, right. if, you, if you give them something they're going to need that they don't have to buy themselves. <laughs> and every bridesmaid, maid of honor, every girl likes shiny things. So jewelry mm-hmm. is also good. Buy unique jewelry. Mm-hmm. I think unique jewelry is good. Don't just buy the standard pendants or things like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Like you said, things to put things in, mm-hmm. boxes, jewelry dishes. Those are very popular, I think, for, right. for gifts. I mean, you're going to need somewhere to hold up everything while you're either <laughs> not wearing it at the wedding or before the wedding or after the wedding. Right. And then you can also get those personalized. Mm-hmm. And also, you're getting ready for the day. You're going to drink champagne. Champagne. Mimosas. Wine, depending on what time it is. I don't know if I drink wine in the morning. <laughs> anyway, water, juices, things like that. Mm-hmm. So glasses, tumblers, champagne glasses, wine glasses. Mm-hmm. Even, hey, girls like beer. Yeah, some of them do. Yeah, beer glasses <laughs> are good too. A couple of other little things, mirrored compacts. You know, everybody needs a good mirror in their purse so they can see themselves at any time. And there's some really cute ones out there. Yes. Stationary. 
I know a lot of people are not so into stationery anymore, but if you give somebody a really nice set of stationery, I think they'll be more apt to use it. Everyone needs some nice stationery. You're going to need to write a thank you note sometime or other. Mm -hmm. Some pretty stationery right. would be really nice. Journals are great. Mm -hmm. Especially if you know your girlfriends like to write or need to write their ideas down or things like that. Organizers, they need to organize their time, keep their addresses, mm -hmm. phone numbers, email addresses in. And there's so many cute organizers right now. Yes. So many. I don't know. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't even use them, but I want them <laughs> because they're so Just cute. because they're so pretty. And see, I'm a notebook fiend. Mm -hmm. So journals, things like that are great. I like them with cute little covers, metallic ones. You know, I, I buy notebooks almost every time I go to the store and I don't need them. I have a stack. But they're like purses you or have bags. A problem. Yes, I know I do. You, what you need to do is put one of those in each one of your purses and bags, <laughs> so you'll have one in every purse or bag that you need. Um, I and I just want to say you don't have to buy them all the same thing. No, you can Ta yeah, yeah. tailor it. Tailor to the person that yeah. you know. Like if one person loves journals, there you go. If one mm -hmm. person likes wine, hey, get them a set of great wine glasses. Yeah, you can definitely personalize. So here's some personal things: sunglasses. You know. That's a good thing to have. Top quality sunglasses, not the little dollar ones that you get from the dollar store. <laughs> um, passport covers and luggage tags. Those are fun. Yes. I like and those. Kate Spade has some awesome ones. I just want to let you know. <laughs> um, now we, bath bombs, mm. spa stuff, handmade soaps, all that kind of stuff um, to pamper yourself yeah. is always a really good gift. As long as you know that they're not allergic to something or mm -hmm. whatever. And now... You're getting hair and makeup done. You can also, instead of buying them a certain gift, pay for their hair and makeup mm -hmm. on their day of. Pay for their shoes that they're wearing on the day. Mm -hmm. you know? as, as my gift. Yeah. Here's I'm your doing shoes. This for you. <laughs> <laughs> and a day before, take them on a spa day. Pedicures, sure. manicures, facials, hey, massages. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> The day after. <laughs> That's when you need to eat that. Because that, it's time for you to bond with your bridesmaids. Yes, absolutely. You can buy travel jewelry organizers and give those out because they're going to most likely be traveling. Mm -hmm. Well, probably a few of them at least. Um, it, just something to make their, their life a little bit easier. Right. Um, and, and then find something unique. And here are a couple ideas. I saw some beautiful necklaces with pressed flowers in them. And I would think you could maybe go with something that's from your wedding, but not really from your wedding. Like if you have a certain type of flower in your wedding and you find charms with that flower in it, mm. you know, that would be kind of a connection and a, a reminder. I, just, I, of course, I love flowers. So I thought that was gorgeous. <laughs> I thought, wow, I, I would love to do that or, or get one of those. Yeah. Um, hair combs that they can wear on the day mm -hmm. to integrate in their hair. Barrettes, pins, things like that. Folding ballet flats. I think hey. everybody needs some. <laughs> Kim and I were in Vegas. My shoes were killing my feet. Mm -hmm. And we had to go stop somewhere to buy me some folding ballet flats because my feet were just hurting. I couldn't walk anymore in them. So they're always good to have. You can yeah. fold them up, put them in your bag. And then you have them. Yeah, always. I think that was an ingenious... <laughs> idea whoever had that to, to make and sell those and and then you can find some great vintage jewelry pieces just go to any any almost thrift store mm -hmm. but also antique stores and find some unique pieces like we were at an antique store and, and you saw a bunch of cameos mm -hmm. like they were all a little bit different but how neat would that be to right. give those i mean some people might not like those but you could find some <laughs> really cool vintage pieces right that you're not going to go to ebay yeah find on on amazon or yeah, wherever ebay has you know you can find mm -hmm. almost anything on ebay that's so. true and etsy yes absolutely <laughs> so now we're going to go to the groomsmen yeah group men are hard to buy for <laughs> men buying stuff for men doesn't really work very well <laughs> so if you if your significant other says hey i need help buying gifts for my groomsmen do it. Yes. Because they'll end up with something stupid. <laughs> oh. Or something that doesn't even pertain to them. Like, my husband gave out beer steins. None of his friends drink. 
Oh, if he just would have asked. I know. He well, here are some ideas <laughs> for you guys, both of you. And again, personalized. You can do this on many items in mm -hmm. our list here. Um, knives. Pocket knives. Not well, big, huge Bowie knives. You can give big, huge Bowie <laughs> knives, too. Or, you know, some not quite pocket knives, but not quite Bowie knives in somewhere in between. Yeah. I mean... Swiss Army knives are good. Guys like knives. They do. Okay. Beer mugs. Yes. <laughs> if you know your guys are beer drinkers. Yeah. Definitely. Bottle openers. Not that we're telling you to support bad <laughs> habits. It gets it gets worse down the line. Um, boxers, Kim. Boxers, but personalized boxers, like Ellen gives out. She <laughs> but they out. have hers. They have with their name on it. Yeah, I know. But you can find some really funny or or cute, or you can have it personalized with something on the butt or whatever. <laughs> it's, I just saw some really cute ones. I thought, yeah, that'd be fun. You know, give them a good laugh, mm -hmm. kind of. Money clips, they're traditional. Watches. Not everyone yeah, not everyone carries money clips anymore. No, but I see I have been seeing a lot more integrated into wallets. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really cool. My brother had one that was just a fold wallet, it was very slim, and then it had a money clip that you could slide on it. Mm. And you could clip your money on the inside or outside or, or something like that. But also you can personalize that with your favorite team or Whatever their monogram, whatever guys like, yeah. you can personalize. <laughs> Maybe if that. you were all in a sorority, you could put your sorority letters on there. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking up some ideas to get my juices <laughs> flowing, <laughs> hatchets came up. <laughs> well, and she put this on our list, and I'm like, I put in parentheses um, question mark. <laughs> Why you would could get them personalized? First of all, and up here. Where we live, hatchets are like in every house. You know, if you I have, don't have one. It, well, you don't have a wood burning fireplace, but most <laughs> people have wood burning fireplaces around here, and a good hatchet is a must have. <laughs> <laughs> you could get some really cool stuff, like if it's a wooden, it's a wooden handle. You could get something really cool carved into it, mm -hmm. or even okay. on the blade, you can get personalized. Stuff. Right. I thought that was kind of cool. Of course, here's some traditional ones: sunglasses, shaving kit, cufflinks. You can buy them all matching cufflinks to wear on the day. Right, right. Tie clips. There you go again. Mm -hmm. Cigars. If you like to smoke cigars together, that's a good thing to have. Blech. Well. <laughs> Cards and poker sets. You know, there's there's tons of people out there that play poker. Mm -hmm. Weekly, monthly, whatever it is. Cards and poker sets. But here's the deal. Don't buy crappy, cheap ones. Yeah. Because those are not going to go over well. <laughs> Barware. You know, you just there's not just beer steins and beer mugs. There's highball glasses and things like that. So if you have a really good mixologist in your group, there you go. Mm -hmm. And like we said with the bridesmaids, you don't have to buy them all the same thing. Exactly. Barbecue accessories. You have you have the mixologist, then you have the barbecue guru. Here's the thing, though. If there's a barbecue guru, they're going to have their favorite types of things. So you better <laughs> do some research if you're going to buy. If you're just buying barbecue to, to like, encourage somebody to learn how to barbecue, <laughs> then it does, it's not so, so you know, they don't yeah. get so picky over it. Okay. Going along with the cigars, you can buy them a humidor, a personal humidor to keep their cigars in. That's right. Now you can get Cubans, right? Mm -hmm. uh, golf balls, golf tees, and those you can also get personalized, too. Mm -hmm. And um, since I'm not a golfer whatever <laughs> <laughs> sports memorabilia if you're all like baseball mm -hmm. your favorite baseball team or your college team you all went right. to the same college together get something with your college logo on it yeah sure. we're in the pacific northwest coffee's a big deal that's right good quality coffee that's right and you know you could also do that for your girls too mm -hmm. coffees and coffee mugs and tea and tea cups you know i'm a tea drinker people giving me tea <laughs> Sure, I'll take that. Yeah, I give. I have to give Kim tea all the time because that's <laughs> what I know she likes. I know she's going to appreciate tea. it. Exactly. Um, Unique bow ties. If you're wearing bow ties, it mm -hmm. would be a great gift to do. Yeah. And if you know somebody is a bow tie wearer, that would be a great gift. Because bow ties are cool. And I know there's some bow tie places that, I can't think of it now, but when you buy them, proceeds go to certain charities and such yeah. like that mm -hmm. so you have to do a little research on that 
So going along with the barware, you can have their favorite liquor. If you know what each one of your groomsmen like to drink. You know, maybe not the 50-year-old scotch, but something to that effect. Scotch blue. <laughs> pay for... <laughs> you can pay for grooming for the day of. Uh, shave, beard trim, uh, haircut, like a, a trim around the edges, uh, which we know that they are now... Uh, there are now more groom, groomers, groomers um, out there for day of. Yeah. And if you want to take your groomsmen on an outing before the day of your wedding to bond, golf, baseball games, basketball games, football games, you know, whatever day, whatever sports and season mm -hmm. when you're getting married, it's a good bonding thing. You know, and not everybody is... is sports minded mm -hmm. so whatever it is that you guys do together right whether it's poker just some kind gaming. of yeah just some kind of bonding experience yeah. to get closer that's right and if <laughs> if they're all like um nerds nerds and they're kind of um what introverts and stuff why don't you you don't even have to all get together and say same you can house. you can have a gaming thing yes. online. Let's have a, a time and a date. We'll all meet in this server and play this Minecraft. Play Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking, how odd would that be for a bunch of introverted guys to get together <laughs> with their drink? And there's nobody's talking. You know. Well, I mean, if they're already friends, I'm hoping they're talking. Even still. Mm -hmm. Some guys. But, anyway. I mean, you know your groomsmen. You know yeah. your crew. You know what they like. Yeah. Customize their gifts for them. Just don't hand them something impersonal. That's right. I don't want impersonal gifts. I don't like impersonal gifts. Do you? I No, I don't. Yeah. I, I just... For me, it's like... It I don't want a, I don't want a gift card. Unless it, it's... You know it's a gift card that I want. Like, right. If you hand me a Kindle gift card, hey. <laughs> Get some books. Here yeah. you go. Yeah. I don't know which books you have or yeah. have not read. Here you go. Here's a $50 gift card to get, you know, to get you some books. Yeah. I don't Put want... a little thought into it, really. Yeah. I mean, don't give me one to a cosmetic company because I'm probably not going to use it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, and that's the thing. Here's a little, a little talking about giving gifts. Like you said, make it personal. Because when I get something that's impersonal, it makes me feel like that person doesn't know me, one, doesn't care to know me, two. Mm -hmm. And why would they give me something if they, like, out of obligation, <laughs> and they don't even know me, kind of, you know? So what? all you have to do to give a good gift is know that person and what they like. And you can find something that will either support that or encourage it, or help with that, or or make them feel a little bit special. Like you said, if you read, mm -hmm. but giving you just some book off the shelf is not saying, right. you know, get a, a book with meaning and write a little something in the front. Or like you said, a gift card to, can, I know you love books, I don't mm -hmm. know what you've read, here you go, I want you to pick something out that you would love to read. Right, and put a little personal note in it. Notes exactly. go a long way. Exactly. If you give me something like a gift card, you put a note in there that's good mm -hmm. saying, you know, I really thought you would use this. Yeah. If you give a good note, you could bring a tear to an eye. Yeah. And, and with a <laughs> gift card. You know what I mean? So like you said, with me, I love tea. Taking me to the tea room, having tea, afternoon tea. That was like freaking awesome. So, See, I know my BFF. <laughs> you just got to know the person, even if, even if you aren't BFFs. <laughs> Scroll through their Facebook page or their Pinterest page. Yes. You'll, you'll find some things that, that they really like because most likely they're posting about it or pinning about it. Or Amazon gifts, Amazon lists. Yeah, They have an Amazon list. Etsy lists. There's there's favorite lists on Etsy too. Yeah. I guarantee I use that. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I like that. Favorite, <laughs> favorite, favorite. So, but, you know, giving gifts doesn't have to be the hardest thing in the world because I know people have trouble with giving gifts. Mm -hmm. It's can be easy if you just do a little research and it just makes it so much better yeah if personal exactly so we're off our soapbox now no that was just a tidbit <laughs> not a soapbox <laughs> tidbits some nuggets on how to give good gifts how are you liking the one podcast a week let us know yes please do you can re you can reach us anytime at info at from or hashtag from ring to veil 
and let us know. Love it. Hate it. And don't forget, we also have blog posts now. So go to our blog page on our website and you can read them. That's right. If you'd like to support us, please check us out at our Patreon page, from ringtovail.com slash give. Until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find us on Facebook, From Ring to Veil, on Twitter, at From Ring to Veil, and on our website, fromringtovail.com. Music provided by bensound.com.